Hey everybody, how's it going? It's the second part of the Darium collab has been up for a while, but I've been a little busy and it was my birthday this weekend, so spent spent time off doing you know real life things. So um, it's a little late, but I'm sure most of you are already in progress or possibly even done with this. But uh, if you noticed on the main screen that there's a new stage, which is basically a equivalent to the sealed jades, but Nobita. Uh, Jayan and Suneo will be using these uh, to finally max luck them. So you'll get three different boards where um, you need to complete five lethal quests, five five star limited quests, and then 15 normal uh, event quests. And as you clear them, as you get bingos, you will be able to get uh, drops. Well, not drops, uh, rewards for that particular character. So if you're playing on the Nobita board, you will get Nobitas. For each bingo you get um, as you can see here for the first bingo you'll get four for the second and third you'll get five and so on and so on until you clear out the whole board in which you'll get 99 total drops and because you have one already from the uh, missions from the first half uh, that means you get a total of 100 so you can keep one um, in the base form and then 99 for the uh, max luck if you wish um, the way this works is that each quest is only going to cost you 10 stamina, so at least that will save you from uh, that stamina drain. However, there is no continue, so you must finish it in uh, one shot. And there's no way you're going to get a drop of the boss running the stage. Of course, you know, you're doing it at 10 stamina, so I guess that's the drawback there. Uh, the placement of the board is random for each player. However, the corners and center are always going to be the lethals, so those five will shift within there. Uh, and just like the sealed jades if you've never done that before um, when you clear a quest you cannot reuse those monsters again for that board and that's important for that board so for the nobita board if you use let's say your one kamui you cannot use kamui again on that board however you can use that kamui once on the giant and snail board so don't worry about that it's not that uh horrendous <laughs> But I mean, this is pretty tough for any of you who are just starting this, because you do need, basically, uh, if you depend, if you try to do this solo, uh, what you would need, seven twenty-five times three, seventy-five unique characters that would work. That's a little tough. Uh, but the good thing is you can play co-op. However, uh, you need to make sure that nobody else on your party has cleared that stage before, because you will all collectively get that clear. So uh, the longer you wait. The uh, harder it's going to be to find somebody to help you out clear this. So, uh, hopefully, you have made good progress on this already. Um, so, what are the quests? The quests are already determined per character. So, you can do preparations like, you know, this is kind of why like I don't like this because I'm I almost force myself to prepare pretty hardcore up front. So, um, if you look, I've taken all of the. Uh, Difficulties as uh, ranked through game width, so um, you can use the same order. I went in order here for Nobita um, Starting with Mikumo and going down in order um, Of course, I would highly recommend starting with the lethals because uh, They are probably going to be the ones that require the top-of-the-line characters and you wouldn't want to waste them For example on you know, like Nurari Hyun or Inari for those one-star easy quests so, uh, and of course there are five star limited ones, so you can separate those out. Um, you can only use five star monsters, so just make sure you uh, arrange those carefully as well because you might not have as many five stars. And uh, they aren't, a lot of base forms aren't listed on game width. So if you have base form uh, hatcher monsters, like I have Sun Wukong or uh, Aramis I left in the five star, um, you could utilize those uh, for the five star. So don't forget about that. Um, Feel free to take a screenshot of this order. That's how I cleared it. It worked out pretty nicely for me. I uh, haven't done Jayan yet, but of course, um, I will probably do the same thing here. Uh, again, in order from the game with uh, difficulty length, strengths, and the key gimmicks are just the things that they had in red. There could be others in those quests, but um, I just, to keep myself sane, I just only copied over the red ones. And uh, Suneo as well. We got. Tokugawa Tsunayoshi as the top difficulty one. Um, Koyuki being a little annoying. What else is there? 
There's been a lot of quests that I don't even remember doing. It's possible I haven't even done them in JP just quite yet, just because there was that uh, overlap period between NA and JP, and I'm sure a lot of those standard quests I didn't even try to do, so uh, it will be interesting. All right, so like I said, I'm actually just one away from finishing for Nobita, so um, as you can see, as you clear the quest, they light up, and uh, they will kindly tell you, just like the Jades, which monsters you use to clear certain missions. And if you try to set up your team, um, it will also tell you who you can or cannot use because you've already uh, selected them. For example, since it's a five star limited, uh, you know I've already used Dianu on a previous one, so I can't use her. And likewise, it'll tell you all of the six star monsters you've already used. Um, and you know just just keep in mind this if you, I mean if you have a big enough box you don't have to think about it, of course but if you start to get unlimited maybe you just started you're gonna want to be very careful about who you use when certain monsters are gonna you know make things super easy and you're gonna want to make that super easy for the difficulty ones so uh, I will show you how things look like once you finish so let's uh, fast forward to the end of this quest all right, so that wasn't too bad. So once you finish it, then come on, loading screen. There we go. Bingo, bingo. And woohoo! It knows you're done, so it says Oshimai. And basically saying, yes, you completed it. Congratulations. Now go to your box and pick up everything. So um, just like the sealed jades, uh, you get the rewards per line. So that first line, you'll pick it up. And be careful about who you fuse it into. Remember, if, you, uh, if they're not the max level. I forget if he comes at a level 5 or not. I think he does, but... Uh, five stars have a max uh, luck at 75 so don't waste your nobitas you can't afford to waste them um, uh, but yeah since this is going to take time i'm not going to do that in front of you but yeah yep so make sure you're careful you do fuse it into the five star monster six star monster version because that will go up to max luck and yeah it's it's a little bit of a grind but uh hopefully for those of you who are just starting try to find a chat out there whether it's a lion group a discord chat uh the game with boards uh trying to find somebody that'll help you out because uh doing it solo is gonna be a little tough but uh for those of you who have a full box shouldn't be that big of a deal um, so yeah, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and until next time. Bye. Bye